Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining me for our devotional today. Um, I want to talk today about gentleness. And I think one thing that is greatly lacking today um, or in most of our society, it's this idea of being thoughtful and being considerate with other people. Um, we've kind of grown, sadly, uh, sort of heartless in a lot of ways. And so I've been doing this a little bit lately. I, wanna, I want you to just think about this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how gentle would you say you are? How well do you respond in gentleness rather than in harshness or with a quick temper? Is there a type of situation or a person that brings out your gentleness better than others? Now, I personally, I'm, I'm definitely more gentle with girls than with boys. I got, I got four daughters. Um, I only had sisters. It's just kind of natural for me to, to, uh, to be more gentle with girls. Um, but the reason that anger just keeps flying around us is that no one kind of steps up to end the, the cycle of anger. Fifth, Proverbs 15, 1, it says, A gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. Are you a person where there, there always seems to kind of be drama and harsh words around you? Uh, do you feel like you're always being treated harshly by the people around you? If you are wondering how people can never stop being awful to you, maybe you need to take a look at how you're reacting to others. Are you actually reacting with gentleness? Are you behaving in gentleness towards other people? A gentle answer, the, the scripture says, turns away wrath, while harsh words actually stirs up more anger. Uh, there was a situation uh, back, uh, this is probably about 10 years ago or so, uh, but I, I had an email back and forth with a, a guy that, that was a friend of mine in the community. Um, I, I played open gym basketball with his son, and his son at the time was, I think, a college age student. and. This kid came in a little bit late to, to open gym and some of the guys were like, ah, you're here too late, dude. We already got the, our games going or whatever. And I didn't really, I didn't say a whole lot. Um, I thought the guys were maybe being kind of ridiculous not letting him play. But uh, later on that day, I get an email from this guy um, saying that uh, he, he knew, he knows that I didn't like his son and that I have something against him and never really cared for him. Um, and, and I don't, you know, don't know why you would treat my son that way. And I, I emailed back, I'm like, man, I, 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 I wasn't saying anything like that about your kid. I wanted him to come in and play. Um, and then I told him about, like, I, I've spent time with your son. Uh, he's come to youth group before. Like, I really, I think your, your kid is awesome. And, and actually, me and that kid have a, a great relationship to this day. Well, what happened was this guy, in the, instead of, by me not getting angry with him and responding in an email in, a, in, a, in an upset fashion, and I responded with more gentleness than I usually would have, um, this guy, the next email back to me was like, man, I'm so sorry. I, I, I responded in a horrible way. You obviously have been good to my kid and, and I'm sorry that I took it the way that I did. And what happens there is gentleness, it, it, it has a way of deflecting anger. Gentleness needs to become the defining trait of who we are because it's a defining trait of Jesus himself. Philippians 4, 5 says, let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. So I want you to think about something. Uh, you've all seen somebody go crazy on somebody at a restaurant or at a store for, you know, because there's a lack of good service or whatever it might have been. Uh, are you a complain to management type of person? Or are you a compliments to the chef type of person? In other words, are you quick to complain and, and, and slow to give a compliment? Or are you slow to complain and quick to give a compliment? I think that's, that, that really is important for us to understand just how gentle of a person are we. So I want to show you this real quick with uh, the kind of the character that Jesus showed in, in his gentleness. Uh, there was a moment where Peter, one of his best friends, his closest disciples, denied Jesus three times. Denied that he even knew him. And then uh, Jesus, after he, he was killed on the cross, he rose back from the dead, and he comes and he's visiting people for the next 40 days. Um, he then meets Peter on this shoreline and he asks Peter three times if he really loved him. Then he tells him to go and feed his sheep. And what's so interesting about this is that he gives maybe the greatest responsibility of all to all the disciples that he had given responsibility to. He gave the greatest responsibility to the one who denied him so vehemently three times the night that Jesus was betrayed. Does it seem like Jesus had forgiven Peter for denying him? Uh, did it seem like he laid a guilt trip on him at all? Um, what do you think about these expectations that Jesus placed on Peter? 
uh, the gentleness that we see in Jesus' response to Peter is exactly like the kind of gentleness that you and I should be shown to people in our lives. What does it say to you about how gentle you are showing uh, gentleness to others? So one, one big takeaway for this, I think Jesus' expectations of you are realistic. He's not expecting you to be perfect. He's actually super gentle with you. He says in Matthew 11, 29 and 30, he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find rest for your souls uh, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus is saying, I am gentle with you. I am humble in my heart towards you. If you ever find that being a Christian is too hard, uh, then maybe you're creating a form of Christianity that's not even the form that Jesus has. Uh, Jesus, the life that Jesus has for us, he is gentle in nature with us. Um, are you seeing that gentleness? Are you living out that gentleness? Jesus is more gentle than you or I could ever hope for. So in response to the gentleness of Jesus, we should always try to find ways to be more gentle uh, with the people around us than we're even comfortable being. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Is gentleness something that you're struggling to live out? If so, I want, to, I want you to remember this today. You're never gonna realize just how gentle Jesus is with you. When you mess up, his response is not the anger that we imagine it to be. His response is gentle. He welcomes you back. And he welcomes you back every time. His gentleness with you can do nothing but make you wanna be gentle with others. So when you're struggling to be gentle, remember how gentle Jesus is when dealing with a sinner like you. And I think it's gonna change the way that you look at other people. Oh, why don't you let me pray with you? Lord, I thank you so much that you, uh, just like these passages talk about, you truly are gentle with us. God, I pray that you'd forgive me, forgive each of us for those moments in our everyday life where, where gentleness is not the thing that is coming forth from us. God, help us to remember the kindness and compassionate uh, gentle, humble love of Jesus every single day so that in the ways that we, res we respond to other people, that gentleness will come forth. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. Look forward to seeing you next time.